second to one in the league on third down. Yeah, yeah they are the Bills, 56% on third down. But it's third and ten, throwing into the wind, way down the field. Oh, my goodness! This is going to be 98 yards to Gabe Davis! A 98-yard explosion, Josh Allen to Gabe Davis. What an incredible read and what a route by Davis. He's had in a long, long time as far as how he's moving. Yeah, and you see, I mean, he had 10 touchdowns last year. Now he had one earlier this year. That's the second, and you see the big play ability. He just wasn't running the same. Yeah. And it just was like, ah, uh, and then it's, you see him now. I was like, wow, he looked good this week at practice. And I was like, this is a big play guy. You're talking about the number one third down team in the league, though, Jim. I mean, 56% on third down. Crazy. That's incredible. You don't this expect team. to convert, though. I think Norwood just too aggressive. Look, they come all the way up to the 10 to field that it. it's James Pierre. He drops the football, and it is recovered by the Bills at the 20. Well, he's one of those guys that demands, like, okay, you're going to guard him one-on-one. -on -one. He demands a double team just like second and 10. And there you just said you're going to see Shakir. You didn't know he's going to make a catch like that. Look how explosive this Buffalo offense is. Mm. On first down. Running out of trouble. Improvising again. And bobbing and weaving down to the 17. And a pass to a wide open target. First down. Hodgins with the catch. Got to get back here more often. It's a great area. And we will. Here's Allen. Trying to go deep to Davis. He pulled it in. Incredible catch. Oh, incredible is right. This is, a, what is going on today? There's so much randomness. That's crazy. You're going to watch. He outthrows the coverage here. You'll see 13 runs straight past the middle of the field. And Fitzpatrick does not get beat. He almost comes down. He's in perfect position, and he's going to rip it away from him. And Davis goes, no, I'm wow. bigger than you. Well, you would say right now, especially after the Baltimore game last weekend, they're the two standard teams that you still believe. Yes. Here's Singletary. And look at Hayward come all the way down the field. You're over it. From the 15. To the end zone. Oh, it's a touchdown to Diggs. Wow. Just too good. They're just so explosive. I mean, you can't just punt seven times in your first four games and then come out here and look like this in the wind where things should be difficult. Second in the NFL against Sutton, and he just makes an easy throw and catch. But that's what happens when you get behind. you got to be a little more aggressive, and sometimes you have a great player who can punt. They have a plethora of guys. I mean, this is a really his opportunity at tight end, and he's showing it. Third and five, flings it, and he's got it! Shakir! with his first NFL touchdown. And he does it against Jackson, 16. Winning by five yards, eight yeah. yards. Rookie taken in the fifth round out of Boise State University. You can never tell a guy to take a rest, take a break, <laughs> but they're not playing him 70 plays a game. They're putting him out there to make sure. Pick it, gets intercepted. Interception by Elam. Kair Elam, the rookie from Florida, taken in the first round, has his first NFL pick. And it's just year five. And he's going to take off for a first down and a whole lot more. Josh Allen down to the 32. Ball came out at the end, but he was down. Well, they can do the same thing to Johnson. Paul Miller's coming after him. Bob Miller has another sack, his fourth as a Buffalo Bill. That pass play went for 41. Third longest play of the day. The rookie up the middle. Cook to the end zone. And a touchdown. His first. Knowing protections and knowing what to do, but he's instinctive. And he processes things really naturally. He's got smooth read. Just head down. I mean... He's under the most pressure on this coaching staff right now. I mean, I say that obviously Tomlin, but that's the third sack of the game by the Bills.